and we back it is the dad panther and i'm bringing something a little special for each and every one of you today i'm doing a review on a little a little next gen thing click click a lap yes we are growing the channel is growing new subscribers daily i appreciate you i really do uh click the subscribe button three likes three is my favorite number let's go with three likes let's just let's, let's try to do that all right so like i said i had some little next gen that i wanted to go ahead and now i don't get me wrong i mean i wish sony would have sent me a system i wish nintendo would send me a switch you can't find them right now and i I still consider that as next gen right now. And um, I'm not trying to forget them, but Xbox. Xbox, I mean, nobody, no, none of you guys sent me anything. And, and I get it. Why would you? But I'm trying to buy these things, take my money. And it's crazy because I think a lot of you feel the same way. You really wanted this next gen system. And for whatever reason, you know, regardless if you're trying to get all three or one of or two of the three, whatever the case is, they just won't take your money. And I'm even to the point where I'm like, listen, take the full payment. I, I mean, when we first did this launch, take the full payment. <sighs> Anywho, I said I had a review for you. I got a review for you. The review is the PlayStation 5 controller. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. I had to go to four stores to get this. Okay, four stores before I was able to get it in my hands, right? And um, I'm going to go through an unboxing, and it's going to be a sound unboxing. It's just going to be like a podcast. It's, I'm, I'm, if you if you followed any other videos I've done, some of them turn to be turn out to be a podcast. Just just my voice flowing over through your ears as you do whatever you're doing in your day, and I appreciate it because you could be anywhere. So without further ado, let's just get into it, right? When you open the box, matter of fact, when you hold the box, you look at it and you're like, you're kind of having a groupy moment. You start to realize that the box quality is very blah. And what I mean by that is, and it's not bad. It's just, I guess, whether it's the supplier demand, I'm going to say the good thing. I'm going to say not supply demand. I'm going to say it's because Sony wants to help the world in a little way they can. The box seems very recyclable. It's not, it's not saved where it's like, hey, look, this box, you're going to keep it. Now, don't get me wrong. I keep all my boxes for stuff, but it just, it just, the feel of it. When you open the box and you get inside of it, you'll see that there's really nothing in it. It's just the bag for the controller. It's the cardboard design to make sure it's not moving around. It's a little leaflet booklet on the warnings of Bluetooth, which I didn't know until opening this, that if you have a pacemaker or a heart medical condition, you shouldn't be messing with Bluetooth. That's pretty helpful to let people know I me. Mean, yes, obviously in that hospital, you turn off your phone, but I mean, come on anyways. And then a, another booklet on how to use the control that you're going to look at once or twice then toss. So it's very, very green of Sony to do this. Now, after you throw the box aside and you pick up the controller, the feel that you get on the controller, it's amazing. Yeah, I said that it's amazing. So amazing. It feels great. It does. Trust me. Trust me. That's that wasn't me. That was the controller, like a Smeagol, my precious. But the controller does feel great. And what's my resume of controllers? Again, I've been playing controller video game type stuff since the Atari. I'm talking about buttons where it was like one, two, three, four to nine with a weird little clicking wheel. Right. And if you looked at it now, it looks like a cell phone, a really bad 80s cell phone all the way up until now. I I play on PC with the Xbox controller um, from Xbox One. I've had the birth of big, you know, Xbox One controllers. I'm doing this comparison as I'm sitting here looking at my PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 controllers. So I mess with controllers. I got medium size hands. Me, I want to say large. Not only where I'm wearing gloves at work, it's large. And uh, it feels great. Now, I know you see videos online that will show you the uh, detailed of the uh, Sony button logos uh, really small on the thumbsticks. You can feel that as the grip, but you really can't see with your eye unless you zoom in on your phone or give yourself 
uh, some type of eye strain. Uh, same thing for the back, but because of that grip, you feel that. Now, again, I'm visually going over, or not visually, I'm verbally going over a lot of stuff. And just so you kind of get the sense of it, but it's, it feels great because the back of the controller is like wider and smooth. Almost think of it like a, a plane across versus the, the PlayStation 4 controller. When you run your hand through the back, it's a smaller spot. It's almost like you can put maybe two fingers with the PlayStation 5, you can literally put four fingers to rest on the back to keep your balance. So it just, it's wider, it's a little longer, it's not as long as maybe the, the uh, PlayStation 3 rumored Boomerang controller, but it's nice. The, the, the trigger buttons, when you hit the uh, shoulders, they're a little bit larger than the PlayStation 4, and a little bit larger both ways, up, down, left, right, however you want to call it, width and length, but um, it's larger, so your finger it's almost like uh, half of your finger is able to touch and be on the the L1 R1, which is great because, you know, you can either ride the, you know, with your, your, the tip of your fingers using the trigger, or you can just rest the whole thing on and just kind of get your feel on it. Now, the trigger, the pull triggers on the bottom, um, those triggers are soft. Oh, they're so soft and marshmallow-like. And... Um, it's not because the controller is new, because I just bought a new PlayStation 4 controller. So this is great that I'm comparing it. So I'm not forgetting and talking about, hey, it's against my busted PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 and Xbox controller. No, um, they're pretty new. And it's just it's a very soft feel, even with what we know that's in the back, that gear mechanism for the dual sense. So it feels great. Um, you know, you charge it with the, the regular um, USB charger that you get. I forgot what the heck I think. Oh, it's type C, USB type C, um, which is great if you got a Samsung phone or an Android phone or anything else around that has it. You just plug it in. Uh, same color light up, you know, that orange glow turns to a blue glow. Um, another thing that I did that was actually um, cool was I paired it to my PC. I was just curious, would it work right now? And it actually does. It does work with the PC right out of the box. Um, it worked on stream. Um, you, it, it, it worked on an emulator game that I played. I was playing WWE uh, No Mercy. So it worked on that. So again, it worked. Now it's gonna work better. Microsoft picks it up as the Bluetooth controller and whatnot, but it'll work better once you get drivers that come out for it, once people start tinkering around, around with it. So, um, other than that, I mean, I felt like the D-pad buttons feel the exact same. There's nothing too crazy about that or the design. Uh, same thing with the share button. I, I feel like they just moved the share and the option start button away. The touchscreen, they just made it, it's wider. It's a bigger surface. So, you know, you have that square for that touchscreen. It's now wider at the top. It doesn't have the light um, for the VR or the... I want to say the light to let you know what player you are. The lights that you see on the side, those change colors and those let you know what player you are. I am curious how that would work on the VR because I thought the VR needed to see the light from the controller unless it's a subtle light that you don't really see unless you're playing VR. Um, but yeah, man, it just, it feels really good in, the, in your hands. So uh, I'm going to go out here and keep fighting and looking for the PlayStation 5, the Switch and the Xbox. I will drop another video on information on how you could possibly get it this Black Friday if you haven't got it already. And I've got some other videos in my uh, log and the history and the catalog I have on what next gen is. So, I mean, thank you. You could have been anywhere in the world. I appreciate that. You're subscribing. Three likes is what we're going for today. Till next time. Kalika, lika, lao.